It was outside this Roseville Hobby Lobby where investigators swabbed the driver's side door of Joseph D'Angelo's car in mid-April looking for a sample of his DNA. Court documents reveal that swab was then tested and compared to DNA samples taken from 1980s murder scenes in Ventura and Orange Counties. We're looking at 21 core markers. That's part of the FBI system. He had 20 out of 21 that matched perfectly. Paul Holes is a former cold case investigator in Contra Costa County who's widely credited with coming up with the DNA strategy that led them to D'Angelo. So at that point it's like well we want a full profile. That's what the filing DA wanted and therefore we needed a second sample. Seeking to match all 21 markers, investigators went to D'Angelo's Citrus Heights home five days later and pulled a tissue from a trash can in front of his house. Test results showed a perfect match. Now you're not dealing with having to interpret a mixture, you're saying this is the same guy as that guy. The Golden State Killer who left his DNA in multiple cases back in the 1970s and 1980s is Joseph D'Angelo. Deputies arrested D'Angelo the next day. Holes can now reveal that once they had him in custody, investigators became authorized to take photographs of the suspect's entire body. Holes says that request was made based on rape victims' reports. One of the, the consistent themes throughout was is that he was not well endowed. And so that was something that they wanted to try to verify and corroborate. The documents also show some of the evidence investigators were looking for inside D'Angelo's home, including computers, hard drives, and other media storage devices, locked safes, boxes, or chests, any photo albums or loose photographs showing D'Angelo throughout the years, and any journals, diaries, or maps depicting Sacramento County, the East Bay, Orange County, or anywhere where the crimes occurred in the 70s and 80s.